we move to section uh, 2.4, that is chapter 2, section 4. Um, again, you want to make sure you read the material in the chapter, particularly the examples which uh, are inside the text of the chapter. Um, the self-check exercises also help a great deal uh, before you attempt to do any of the extra problems to get ready for the test. Section 2.4, we are going to start We are going to start with number, let's say, 16. Here, in exercise 9 through 18, let f of x, f of x, so they're giving you a function equal to x minus 1, g of x, equal to square root of x plus 1 and h of x equal to 2x to the third minus 1. And then in number 16 they ask you to find f of or actually f times h divided by g, okay, f times h divided by g. Well, that is basically telling you this is your f, this is your h, so you multiply those. So x minus 1 times 2x to the third minus 1 divided by g. And this is your g. Square root of x plus 1. We can simplify the numerator a little bit if we want to. That would be, multiply the two parentheses together, so that would be 2x to the fourth minus x minus 2x to the third and plus 1 divided by square root of x plus 1. To make the numerator a little bit neater, we put them in order, 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus x plus 1. There's nothing we can do with the denominator, x plus 1. So this is basically your f times h divided by g. And it's, again, a function of x. You have to remember this is a function of x. So that's one simple example. Let's look at another one from section 2.4, number 30. Find the rules for the composite function f g, composite of f and g. So we do that one first. Now this is basically like f of g of x, like that, which is equal to the g of x, the g of x is given to you, therefore you're looking at f of 1 over x minus 1. So that means in your f of x function, 
every place you have an X, you would plug in 1 over X minus 1. So this would be equal to square root of 1 over X minus 1 plus 1. We can simplify this if we want to. H minus 1 is the common denominator. 1 plus H minus 1. So this would be equal to square root of X divided by X minus 1. This 1 and this minus 1 got canceled. Another way, another one would be composite of G, F, X. Now this is G of F of X. So that means in your g fun in your function, the g of x, you plug in f of x. So this would be equal to g of f of x is square root of x plus 1. So in your function, the g of x which is given, which is 1 over x minus 1, in place of x in the denominator, you put square root of x plus 1. So it would look like this, 1 over square root of x plus 1 minus 1. If you want here, you can get rid of the square root in the denominator by rationalizing. Let me expand this and actually rewrite this 1 over square root of x plus 1 minus 1. To, do, to rationalize what you do, you multiply both the numerator and denominator by this same denominator, except for the sign being negative, it would be positive. So you multiply by square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now when you multiply these two denominators together, you would get x plus 1 minus 1. And in the numerator is, of course, 1 times this, which would be square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now this 1 and minus 1 would cancel. Therefore, final answer is square root of x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x. This is g f of x. That was number 30. Let's do a couple of more problems from this section. Again, section 2.4. We are continuing section 2.4. Uh, let's say problem number 50, problem number 50, which has to do again with evaluating a function, evaluating a function. Uh, problem number 50 says in exercises 47 to 52, find and simplify Find and simplify f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. 
for this function f of x which is 2x to the third minus x squared plus 1. As I said, this is evaluating a function at a certain point. In this case, in the numerator, we are evaluating this function at a plus h. So in place of x, we put a plus h. So here is x, here is x, there are two places. We replace those with, f of, uh, with a plus h. So the f of a plus h, which will go into the numerator there, a plus h, would be equal to 2 times a plus h to the third, to the third, minus a plus h to the second plus 1. If we expand this to expand that would be a to the third plus 3 a squared h plus 3 a h squared plus h to the third as for that then minus minus we continue now this this part minus a squared plus 2ah plus h squared, put parentheses around it, and then plus 1, of course, at the end you have here. Continue with the simplification. Again, so far all we are doing is f of a plus h. Don't forget that. So multiply 2 by the parentheses, it would be 2a to the third plus 6a squared h plus 3, I mean 6 again, plus 6a h squared plus 2h to the third minus a squared minus 2a h minus h squared and then plus 1. It's just a little tedious but you have to keep track if you keep track of everything you're gonna be you're gonna be fine. Now this is f of a plus h and that f of a plus h is what goes in the numerator up here f of a plus h minus f of a again f of a means in place of it means in place of x you put a so let's do that also and then we plug everything into that quotient up there so we need to have f of We need to have f of a also. That would be equal to 2 times a to the third minus a to the second plus 1, which is basically 2a to the third minus a squared plus 1. Now, we have both of these. We can go back and plug it into this quotient one by one. So first is f of a plus h, and then minus f of a divided by h. So we're going to have a little one long division line f of a plus h first is 2a to the third minus 6a squared h plus 6a h squared plus 
2h to the third minus a squared minus 2ah minus h squared plus 1. And that, according to the formula, it has to be minus, minus f of a. Minus f of a. That means it would change the signs here. Everything would be changed because it's minus f of a. Minus f of a. So it would be minus 2a to the third plus a squared minus 1 divided by h. This would be equal to, let's see what we can simplify here, uh, minus a squared plus a squared plus 1 and minus 1. I think that is, oh, we got 2a to the third minus 2a to the third. It would cancel. Now we got all the terms left. They have h in them. So let's factor out h and see what happens. h times minus 6a squared plus 6ah plus 2h squared minus 2a minus h divided by h. Now this h in the numerator, this h in the denominator cancel. So the whole thing would be now equal to minus 6a squared minus, I mean plus 6ah plus 2h squared minus 2a plus, uh, uh, minus h. This is the final answer. This is evaluation of this function you had on top, this one right here. It would be this last response. That was number 50.